Hare Krishna, question for today. Uh, what is the importance of Kanti Mala? Uh, why does Vaishnavas wear Kanti Mala? So let me narrate a small story or incident with Srila Prabhupada, which was narrated by the disciple who witnessed it. And he states, uh, When I was with Srila Prabhupada, serving him back in Los Angeles in 1970, my neck piece broke one day. And I set them aside thinking that I would restring it later in the day. It just so happened that I went to meet Srila Prabhupada then he immediately said, Where are your neck beads? I told him it has broken and I was going to fix it later in the day. He said very strongly, You must go now and fix them. If you knew how dangerous it is to be in this material world without neck beads, you would be shaking in your boots. So what happened? The devotee explains. A big reason is that Yamdutas, those who are like monster-like servants of Yamraj, uh, they come to meet a person at the time of his death to escort him uh, in their subtle body to the Yamloka to get judged for their activities in this life. However, they cannot touch a person who is wearing or has adorned his body or her body with Talak or Kanti Mala. Therefore, Prabhupada emphasized Nandu Kumar, how can you move around without Kanti Mala? So that's one reason. But let's take a look at another reason why Vaishnavas wear. Vaishnavas do not wear Kanti Mala because they're fearful of Yamdutas. That's on the negation side. But on the positive side, it is said in the Padma Purana, those who wear Kanti Mala and those who put Tilak uh, at different parts of the body, uh, they are identified as uh, worshippers of Lord Vishnu and they are called as Vaishnava. And by adorning their body with Vishnu symbols and with Tulsi beads, uh, Kanti Mala, their presence makes the whole universe pure. Why? Because anyone who sees them, they are immediately reminded of Lord Shri Krishna. So, short answer, it is recommended in the scriptures for every Vaishnava to adorn their body, which is nothing but the temple of the Lord. So, we decorate the body with Vishnu symbols and we wear Kanti Mala made up of Tulsi. Why? Because Tulsi is very dear to Krishna and it's very dear to Krishna and it is recommended in the scripture. So, we wear it. That's a short answer. Let's a little bit look more in detail about, about the subject matter. Uh, what are the uh, additional benefits of wearing Kanti Mala or Tulsi Mala for that reason? Now, Tulsi Mala is considered to be the purest. It also has medicinal properties. For example, those who have kidney related problems, migraine, and sinus like issues, according to Ayurveda, uh, they should definitely put Tulsi Mala. Tulsi Mala keeps the mind calm and keeps stress away. It purifies the body externally and internally. Why internally? I'll sure talk about in a short while. Externally, uh, also the reasons will give uh, in a short while. But um, more reasons will give in a short while. But externally, in the sense, uh, it keeps the body pure in the sense uh, all the toxins and others. It uh, just somehow manages to keep it away. Other thing, it keeps the blood pressure under control. It reduces cholesterol as well as strengthens the digestive system. It is said by wearing Tulsi Mala around the neck, the flow of electric current is surcharged. And it also ensures the creation of pressure on some of the important points of the body, where we, you know, where we wear the neck beads, which actually helps an overall good blood circulation in the body. And according to Ayurveda, it is also mentioned that it protects us from throat-related diseases. So there are many, many reasons. We just talked about some uh, medicinal advantages or uh, reasons why we should wear Kanti Mala. Now the question comes, who can wear it? Can anyone wear it? Actually, Kanti Mala has to be worn compulsorily by the initiated devotees. However, those who are not initiated yet can also wear it. But who are those who can wear it? Those who are regularly, every day chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Have been following four regular principles, no meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling, no illicit relationships. Along with that, avoiding onion and garlic. Uh, we already answered the question why we should not consume onion and garlic uh, and also no tea and coffee. Not that we just leave it today and tomorrow onwards we adorn it. No, it should be at least for considerable time, let's say for six months. Uh, we have been following it and uh, then we can wear Kanti Mala on the neck. Why? Because Tulsi is absolutely pure. Our physical and mental purity is also required while wearing Kanti Mala. Uh, other thing is wearing Kanti Mala indicates our surrender 
to Krishna. Why? Because we are following his rules and regulations. Okay, let's take a look at the word mala. What does the word mala means? Ma means me. La means to give. In other words, kanti mala. It means, oh Hari Vallabhi, I have given myself to the Vaishnava devotees. Thus, you are known as mala. By wearing kanti mala, tulsi mala, we are surrendering ourselves to Lord Sri Hari. Now, sometimes people ask a question. Can I wear it first and then stop eating onion? or stop drinking tea because wearing kanti mala knowing all these advantages would give me definitely an impetus to follow all the rules and regulation and yes that is fine but we have to be very careful about it uh, as we already mentioned before wearing or donning kanti mala we should have practice uh, lived by the purity centers for at least a uh, couple of months less is 6 months and then adorn it because if it just so happen you have not practiced uh, living with those regulations and you happen to put it on or what if your mind becomes really agitated and you happen uh, to just take it very lightly and imagine drinking a tea or coffee or eating some food made up of onion and garlic what will happen natusi mahani is the best of the vaishnavas it would be a great offense done at the lotus feet of tusi mahani so therefore we have to be careful about it uh we need to protect ourselves from committing offenses and that is how we build our mental purity that is how we build our internal and external purity and then we accept uh to see kanti mala like that so in that sense uh again it's not only for initiated uninitiated or non initiated devotees can also wear but they should have been practicing the rules and regulation for some time like that so that's a point of course if in case accidentally incidentally Uh, we happen to uh, violate any of the rules while wearing kanti mala uh, to simhani ultimately is a vaishnava uh, she is vaishnava means they are uh, kripa sindhu they are reservoir of mercy they will definitely not mother to simhani will not take any uh, you know action for such deviation but in our part we should be serious and uh, sincere about practicing it uh, that's the point about it so in this uh, today's question we talked about why vaishnava was wear it the position of shila prabhupad uh, and also why vaishnava was wear it uh, because it pleases krishna it is recommended in the scriptures to so simhani is very dear to lord shri krishna and has own spiritual benefits because whoever sees a vaishnava is reminded immediately about of lord shri krishna that way it purifies our ether apart from that in a longer version of the answer we talked about the medicinal benefits of uh, kanti mala for that reason uh, and after that we took one or two faqs like can i who can wear it first of all the first faq was who can wear it who is qualified to wear it and second thing uh, if in case i have not been following all the rules but what if if i wear it today that will give me impetus to start following rules tomorrow from tomorrow can i do so the answer was no first follow it less if for 3 months 4 months 6 months uh, which can be done in discussion with your local mentors and then we can add on kanti mala but please remember shila propas statement oh to nand kumar where is your kanti mala propas it broke i'm going to restring it no what are you doing you must go now and fix it if you knew how dangerous it is to be in this material world without neck beats or kanti mala you would be shaking in your boots so we should be shaking in our boots if in case we don't have kanti mala on our neck all the best hari krishna mm mm-hmm.